Scammers have some new phishing tricks up their sleeve for holiday shoppers this year. Fox 47's Clayton Cummins tells us what kind of emails they're using to steal your information and your money. The holidays are upon us, a perfect time for scammers to get to work. They're doing so by sending you fake emails designed to look like retailers and hope you'll give them your personal information. And they use uh, social engineering techniques, which is kind of the curiosity thing where they're trying to get people to click where it's like, it's a, hey, get a free cup of coffee, get a free Amazon gift card, get something that's that they're going to want. Jeff Detloff from Lansing's Providence Computer services has seen an increase in phishing scams. He says scammers aren't stopping there. They're even sending emails to make it look like someone you know, maybe your boss or your company's CEO, is asking you to send money or click on a link. They're even using the phone. But somebody will call up and say, hey, this is Jeff from IT. I understand your computer's not working. Uh, I need to get into it. Can you give me the password? and people will fall for that and then they'll capture the credentials. Stopping these scammers is easier said than done. So the spam can come from all over the place, not just a single uh, server or single IP address. And when it's distributed like that, it's very, very difficult to do anything about it. Checking your email with a level of paranoia, Detloff says, is the best way in avoiding a new age of online scammers. Be alert. Be aware that these schemes are happening. They're happening to normal people every day. In Lansing, Clayton Cummins, Fox 47 News. If you think you've fallen for a scam, contact your financial institution and change all of your passwords. You can call police or file a complaint with the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center.